Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Four students. Let's going to wait for four more. Vamos a esperar por cuatro o cinco más, ¿ok? Ok. Mientras tanto, eh, hubo un incidente ayer, <coughs> por lo tanto, creo que se comunicaron con ustedes ya um, respecto que va a haber, vamos a mover la clase, creo, se comunicaron. Yes. yes. For the next Friday. Correcto. Correcto. Así que mis disculpas ya en este caso. Eh, tuve un incidente con la computadora, ¿verdad? Pero aquí estamos. It's okay, teacher. Don't worry. Happy. Okay. Thank you, Juan Key. Ok, quiero ver, permítame. Uy, estoy compartiendo ya. Ok, ocho. Dos más, si empezamos. ¿Cómo está mientras tanto, Brenda, Miguel, que son los que han puesto cámaras? A ver, a ver. Um, Bien, con ánimos. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. That's good. That's good. Mm. Okay, finally. So we have nine already. What? No, 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 no. Hold on, please. One moment. Okay. One moment, please. There it is. Let me see. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to share the screen right now. Um, I think that you guys, do you remember already about the last time that we were talking about uh, models regarding to the can and should? Is that correct? Do you guys remember? Yes. yes. Yes, perfect. Okay, there you go. Excellent. So yes. remember, yes, I'm sorry. Alguien quería decir algo? Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, I don't know, guys, if you already did this, but if it's not, we're going to just to do it together meanwhile. So we're going to start for uh, Mr. Miguel. Okay, remember that it is not exactly correct or incorrect answers. No hay precisamente que estarse, todos estamos aquí, están aprendiendo, tranquilos. So we're going to start from Miguel. Miguel, could you please, um, it says complete the sentence, I'm sorry, the conversations using can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Okay, now, what would be this for you? We have different... Number one, can't. Okay. <clears throat> now, yes, yes. That will be, it depends on perception. Mm, I can't decide. If it's true, guys, you can decide. However, in that case, if it's a perception, it depends on the perception. I'm confused. I don't know. I can't decide right now. I can't or I can. In this case, it will be... Uh, by perception, I can't. Is that correct? Okay. Where to go on my vacation? Maybe there are a lot of opportunities that you want to go. So you can do it, but in some way, you can't do it because you are not sure. Okay. Excellent, Mr. Miguel. There you go. Manzanero, go ahead. Let's go on Tuesday. Uh -huh. Let's shoot. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. 
Excellent. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Excellent. Very good. Saul Kanjura, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I am playing Bogota in a year. When do you think? Uh, okay. Uh, I am playing. Uh, I'm sorry, one moment. I am planning to go to Bogota in a year. When do you think I, I should go? Should. Okay. Remember, shouldn't. Uh, is, uh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Mm -hmm. I just want to explain something. Para que quede claro, más de algunos van a estar confundidos entre should y shouldn't. Remember that shouldn't is always as should not, cannot, do not, is not, is negativo. So in this mm -hmm. case, it says, I'm planning, yes, planeando, to go to Bogota next year. Hmm. What do you think? I, y aquí como les explico particularmente, okay? It depends of the conversation or in the context, because it will be also, yes, in this case, I think that it will be immediately should, porque should remember that it's in advice. For example, ¿por qué les menciono esto? What about if you have an interview, si tiene una entrevista, or if you are applying for a scholarship, you are going to ask, what, what should I do? ¿Qué es lo que no debería hacer? Okay? So, you can ask, definitely, ask about should I go or shouldn't I go? Okay, talking about the negative. Aquí pudo haber sido también el contexto. You want to follow the rules, si quieren seguir las reglas porque hay, qué sé yo, para las chicas. Digamos que es eh, Emiratos Árabes, Dubai, or something like that. I don't know, guys. Or any place of that, that it's uh, something that women have to dress with a long thing, with a long dress. So you are going to ask, okay, I'm going to visit, uh, tell me that place, uh, come on. I don't know, it's just, it comes to my mind. Uh, it's just, llame uno de esos lugares que son así como que se tienen que vestir todas. Irak. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, so yes, or just to visit Jordan, Iraq, whatever. So what should I do? And what shouldn't I do? Que es lo que no debería ser me as a woman, because there are those people that are like, you have to wear like this, you don't have to show your hair, you don't have to show your ankles, no tienes que mostrar nada de eso como mujer. So, what exactly, what shouldn't I do? Or in Japan, what should I do when I eat? Que debería ser cuando como, or what shouldn't I do? Que es lo que no debería ser. In this case, I'm planning to go to Bogota. Hmm. So, when, when do you think I, sh I should go? Yes. What do you think I should go? Yes, it's just, it could be like that. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Lizette Sarakai, go ahead. Let me see. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. You got anything to weather is nice out years. Um, I think it's correct. Uh, Okay, excellent. Okay, big why? In this case, no pudiera ser shouldn't. ¿Por qué? Because it says go anytime. Period. Punto. The weather is nice all year. Por lo tanto, en ningún momento me está diciendo no es como Canadá. You shouldn't go on December. No me está diciendo no debería seguir diciendo no debería estar. You should go anytime. Mm, weather is great. El tema está maravilloso todo el año. Excellent, very good. Um, Brenda? Uh, sería, uh, short? Short and in car wing, arrive in Cairo? What did you recommend? Excellent. Now, should I, should I, le está pidiendo un consejo. Let's go to repeat all of you guys. Por favor, todos vamos a repetir. Should yeah. I, yes, should I, I'm sorry, should I, should I rent a car when I arrive? Repeat. Should I rent should a car I when I arrive? I, 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 I rent a car when I arrive. Excellent. Now, what do you recommend? What do what you, did you recommend? Recommend. Recommend. Now, recommend. Excellent. Now, everyone, please repeat with me. 
arrived. Arrived. ¿Cómo llegar? Llegar. Excellent. That's why it says in the airport, arrivals. Llegar, verdad. Arrived. Excellent, guys. Recommend. Please repeat. Recommend. 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 Very good. Now it says, uh, Miguel ya lo hizo pasar, sí, verdad? Natalie Ortega, mm -hmm. go ahead, please. No, you, you shouldn't definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. What sort of respuesta should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Okay. Sure. Okay, excellent. No. Huh? Are you it sure, be, Natalie? It would be Natalie. Sure. Natalie. Mm, sure. No, yeah. si le pregunto usted dígame, usted dígame, Natalie. ¿Por qué sería? ¿Cuál sería y por qué? Confía en usted, vamos. Y si no, aquí lo, lo vemos. Tranquila. Hay algo confuso porque tendría que ser, tendría que ser show porque dice. O sea, que definitivamente tienes que usar ese software porque este es mucho más rápido y eficiente. Excellent. That is why it says no, coma. Come on. You should definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Maybe there's a lot of traffic. No se dejen engañar solo por el no. Try always to analyze the context. Analyze. No dejamos ir a la primera, no me es negativo, le voy a poner shouldn't. But it's not only that. Always analyze. Excellent. Okay, Crisia, go ahead. Where can I get some nice jewelry in bad cup? Where can I? Excellent. Where can I get some nice jewelry? Everybody, please repeat jewelry. 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 Okay, that means joyería in Bangkok. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there you go. Beatriz, go ahead, please. Okay. Shouldn't. Okay, can you read the sentence, please? You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. For bargains. Excellent. Very good. Remember, que era bargains, guys? Que era? Alguien que me diga? Negociar. Negociar. Excellent. You shouldn't. Exactly. Shouldn't miss. No. Ojo. A veces uno tiende a confundir las palabras. Y solo lo hago énfasis, disculpen. Que mis no es teacher, que mis no es extrañar. Entonces, que mis, entonces, ¿por qué se llama perder si los es perder? Yes, guys, but it's just always analyze the context. There are some words, like, for example, here it is talking about do not miss. No te lo pierdas. Ok. No se va a decir do not lose. Ok. It's just, ok. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place. Ok. No, you should not, it's obviously because it's something positive, va con algo positivo al final. Excellent, very good. Go ahead, please, Juan Reyes. What? What can't I see from the Eiffel Tower? Okay, can't. Are you sure? Uh, no, 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 Ken. Ken. What? What? No. Okay, there you go. And in fact, Juan, it could be as an advice. Hey, Juan, what can I see and what can't I see from the Eiffel Tower? Que lo que puedo ver, que lo que no pudiera ver. Yes, always talking about perception, okay? But in this case, it will be, obviously, okay. it's can. Creo que aquí por el contexto y porque estamos aprendiendo sería más can. Mm. But do not deny, no se cierren aquí, siempre va a ser, porque va a poner what can't, ¿verdad? Okay, excellent, very good. For example, los niños, mom, why can't I go to the party? ¿Por qué no puedo ir a la fiesta? 
Yes. Claro oh, que yeah. pudiera ser una pregunta tanto negativa como afirmativa. Why can't I go? What can oh, yeah. I see? Talk about negative. What can I do? ¿Qué es lo que no puedo hacer en la casa? Mom, what can I do on my grandma's house? My grandma's house. So, pueden ser, depende del contexto y cómo lo tomen. Mm -hmm. What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? And what can't I see from the Eiffel Tower? Ok, en este caso, obviamente lo están tomando aquí por can. But excellent, very good. Ok, Lorena Alonso, go ahead, please. You, can, you can't see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can see anything. Excellent. You can see all Paris, but in bad weather and in los climas malos, you can't see any, anything. And it's uh, because of the, uh, yes. Más que todo por, because of the fog, the fog, la neblina, ¿verdad? Excellent, very good. There you go. Okay, now I do apologize. Okay, could you please read this, Brenda? In this, uy! I'm sorry, I do apologize. Let me just go back. Could you please read this, Brenda? In this? Uh, in this section, participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can and short short. Do you show natural uh, speaking? Excellent, Brenda. Excellent. Now we're going just to review something. Okay. Uh, everybody, please repeat session. Session. Excellent. Participants. Participants. Once again, please, participants. 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 Okay. Practice. 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 Okay. Now, siempre que ustedes vean el atio, ¿sí? se, forma, se, 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 se pronuncia como Asian. For example, for example, information, degradation, graduation, pronunciation. Um, I don't know what else, but yes. Always that you see this, okay? Asian, I'm sorry, action is Asian, okay? Now everybody please repeat with me. Pronunciation. 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 Organization. 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 There you go. Excellent. There you go. Excellent. Organization. organization. Always it, it is right. Organization, but it's organization. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Asian. Okay. Almost one more time. Practice the pronunciation. Repeat. Practice the pronunciation. pronunciation. Okay. There you go. Speaking. 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 No. Speaking. 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 Now, speaking. Boom. Speaking. 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 There you go, guys. Speaking. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Speaking. Okay. Now we're going to see. Um, so, oh, let me see who else. Quijano ya pasó. No. Okay, go ahead, please. Solo voy a ampliar un poco la imagen porque casi no me importa. Intrusion. Listen and practice this. A statement notice notice how how the T and can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronun pronouncing rep rep repeat the audio program as many times as you need need to. Excellent. Now everybody please repeat to me practice. 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 Okay. Practice. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Now listen and practice. Listen, listen and practice. And practice. And practice. Statements. 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 Okay. Statements. Once again, please. Statements. 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 Strongly pronounced. Strongly, strongly pronounced. Strongly pronounced. Strongly pronounced. Strongly pronounced. Excellent. Very good. Need. Need. Excellent. Very good, guys. 
Now we're going just to see. Okay. Pronunciation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay. Once again, please. Pronunciation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Excellent. Let's go to see. Come on. Hold on, please. Ah, it's over here. Okay, there you go. So if you pay attention there, it says in there is a contraction as you shouldn't, yes, should, shouldn't. The next one is can, can't. Okay, it is not to say can't. At least you make an emphasis. I can not. But it just says I can't. It's just, it sounds a little bit. No se suena tanto, no es tan fuerte. The thing with should, shouldn't. It's not to say the T, shouldn't. It's not necessary. Remember that there is uh, some kind of English as British. Okay. Van a escuchar que en British siempre hacen un emphasis. You should not or you shouldn't. Es más fuerte. But in this case, it's just simple. As you are not moving a lot of the tongue, it is very um, lazy. It's algo como perezosa la lengua, so you shouldn't, okay? Repeat shouldn't. with me, shouldn't. 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 Excellent, very good, guys. Now, we're just going to see the next one. We're just going to continuously because I, we have made a little bit things, but well. So let me see, let me see, can you ask, can you ask? <coughs> okay, let me see, let me see, okay. Juan Rey de la Pase, ¿no? A Juan Rey, sí. Okay. Well, it is Herrera. Go ahead, please. In this session, it is Herrera. Um, go ahead. In this session, you will learn vocabulary for common health problems as well um, as listen to a conversation where this new word with the practice. Excellent, very good. Let's go to pay attention, please, guys. Welcome to edX. I'm Anand Agarwal. I'm the president of edX. I'm also a professor of electrical engineering and computer science at MIT. Online learning is revolutionizing the world. Education will never be the same again, and edX is at the cutting edge of this revolution. So when you take edX courses online, you are part of this revolution. Online learning is the ultimate democratizer. When you learn on edX, you are joining a community. Imagine taking a class with 100,000 or more students. This is social. This is a lot of fun. I think you will enjoy the experience. At edX, it's about people. It's not about profit. For you, edX is about the best courses from the best schools and the best professors. Becoming a member of edX is easy. We're really excited to have you here. We're going to get you started. Quick, three easy steps. Browse, choose, and have some fun. Registration takes seconds. And once you register, just browse the courses. When you find something that you like, click it. It's that easy. Choose wisely. You're selecting courses from the best schools all around the world. Make sure to check the prerequisites. Now you can choose your course, and you're on your way. Welcome to the club. Now that you signed up for a course, you can view courseware. The courseware is made up of great okay, videos, on, automated feedback, and cool interactive features, all for self-paced learning. Creo que se lo puse un poquito rápido, así que lo vamos a poner más detallado, ¿les parece? Sí, para que lo agarremos. Ok, perfecto. Okay. ...of electrical engineering and computer science at MIT. Online learning is revolutionizing the world. 
education will never be the same again. And edX is at the cutting edge of this revolution. So when you take edX courses online, you are part of this revolution. Online learning is the ultimate democratizer. When you learn on edX, you are joining a community. Imagine taking a class with 100,000 or more students. This is social, this is a lot of fun. I think you will enjoy the experience. And edX, it's about people. It's not about profit. For you, edX is about the best courses from the best schools and the best professors. Becoming a member of edX is easy. We're really excited to have you here. We're gonna get you started. Quick, three easy steps. Browse, choose, and have some fun. Registration takes seconds, and once you register, just browse the courses. When you find something that you like, click it. It's that easy. Choose wisely. If you're selecting courses from the best schools all around the world, make sure to check the prerequisites. Now you can choose your course, and you're on your way. Welcome to the club. Now that you've signed up for a course, you can view courseware. The courseware is made up of great videos, automated feedback, and cool interactive features, all for self-paced learning. The interactives are designed to help you explore your understanding of key concepts. A big part of edX is getting instant feedback on your answers, frequently in the form of a green check mark. In a lot of questions, you can try as many times as you need to get that right answer. Courses can be tough. We make sure that they're rigorous, but they can also be a lot of fun. A big part of edX is the social aspect. You can be as social as you want on the discussion boards. In our forums, there's an active community. It's not just the professors. Students help each other out. A typical course can run a semester length, or about 12 weeks. At the end of that course, if you've met the course requirements, you can get a certificate of mastery. Once you've completed the course, you're part of our group of lifelong learners. edX's mission is to help you get a quality education. edX will increase access to learning for students such as yourself worldwide. This is fun, this is exciting, and this is revolutionary. Welcome to edX. Come join us. Okay, guys. Probably some of you uh we're asking what is edX, why it says many times edX. For those that you don't know, no se preocupen, it's not exactly something like a specific word. It's something like um, you can enter to uh, to edX to learn new things. Pueden entrar a edX para aprender nuevas cosas, así como está uh, Udemy, entre otros, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí más o menos cómo funciona edX, edX. ¿Verdad? No precisamente piensen que es una palabra que tanto hablaban de Rex, no piensen algo específico, ni tampoco estábamos hablando de Lex. But well, yes, basically está. Um, this is an academic. Yeah. Esa es Udemy. <clears throat> yes. Now we're going to continue with this. Hello everyone and welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache. A backache. A headache. Sore muscles. A stomachache. A cold. A cough. The flu. Insomnia. Okay, now we're going to step by step. Some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache. Repeat to me, a headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. There you go, excellent. And the cabeza, right? A backache. A backache? Backache. Backache. Okay, excellent. Backache. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Muscles. No pronuncien las sex at the muscles, no. Muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Stomachache. 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 A cold. 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 Remember, cold. do not confuse cold. no confundan el cool to say cold. Okay. Cold. Remember, cold. do not confuse. Okay. Cold. A cough. A cough. A Repeat. Cough. 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 A cough. Cough is cough. means uh, tos. Es tos. Cough. Okay. The flu. The flu. 
The flu. The flu. The flu. The Insomnia. 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 Very good. There you go. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Okay. ¿Cuál fue lo último que tuvieron? Si quieren más adelante, lo pueden compartir que exactamente fue lo último que tuvieron. For example, me, I recently had a headache. I always suffer about headache. I always suffer migraines, but yes. Okay, let's going to continue with this. Who has this on to the moment? Pregunta este momento. No. No, okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Okay, so it says in this station, you will listen to a conversation where a common health problems are mentioned using infinitive complements. Health, remember, problems is health problems. Okay, and listen to a conversation. Vamos a escuchar una conversación. Okay. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health-related words, we're ready to listen to them in context. Also, pay attention to suggestions given when we get sick. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That's it. Sounds awful. Okay. Hold on, please. So we're going to repeat the conversation. Okay, guys. Repeat with me, please. Okay. So it, it just starts here with, hi, Craig. How are you? Creo que todo está muy bien, ¿verdad? Okay. I have a terrible cold. Repeat. I have a terrible cold. Terrible cold. Excellent. And I guess it's the terrible cold. What is it? Catarro terrible. Catarro. Yes. Oh, he's very sick. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Yes, un resfriado, una gripe, un catarro. Okay. Now, repeat with me. You should be at home in bed. You should, you should be, be, at home, be at home and bed. 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 Okay. It's important to get a lot of rest. It's, it's really important, important to get a lot of rest. Have you taken anything? Have you taken anything? Once again, taken anything. Taking anything. 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 Okay. Sometimes it's sometimes helpful. It's sometimes, sometimes helpful. helpful. Okay. Eat garlic. Eat garlic. 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 garlic soup. Garlic, garlic soup. soup. Okay. Shop up. Shop up. 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 Shop up. 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 Just shop up. Just shop up. 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 Okay. Whole head of garlic. Whole head of garlic. Head of garlic. Head of garlic. Head of garlic. Cook it in the chicken stock. Cook, cook in, in the chicken, chicken stock. Chicken. Okay. Excellent. Now, it really works. It, it really, really works. works. That sounds awful. That, that, that sounds, sounds awful. awful. So if we analyze the, the, the conversation, there are two person here, two people that is joined in Craig, dos personas. So one is asking here, okay? Hi, Craig. This is Craig. Okay. How are you? So he answered that he has a terrible cold. Okay. 
It's too bad. And then she gives an advice. Le dan consejo. You should be at home in bed. Deberías. Yes, está en cama. Okay, it's a really important. Then it says, have you taken anything for it? Has tomado algo para ese refriado. Suda gripo como los que ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? Okay, have you taken for it? So it says, sometimes it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. A veces es de ayuda comer sopa de ajo. Ugh. Okay, yes. Just chop up a whole head of garlic. Solo corta, o mejor dicho, pica una cabeza de ajo, ¿verdad? A whole head of a garlic. Ugh. Okay, and cook it in chicken stock and try it. Okay, now, ¿quién ha comido o who eats um, it garlic like that, guys? ¿Quién come así de ajo? Uh -uh. Las personas mayores que me digan no se toman su mitad de ajo en la mañanita. Mm. No, no, no mi. Hay <laughs> okay, okay. personas que también para adelgazar se lo comen. Okay, there you go. Okay, so it says here in this session, infinity compliments will be talked. Infinity compliments are used to ask and give advice. Okay, lo que le mencionaba anteriormente. Give advice, dar un consejo, okay? Now, for example, it says here, what should I do for a cold? Que debería ser para una gripe, verdad? O un resfijado, okay? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Tomar vitamina C, creo que eso todo lo hacemos, verdad? Espero yo, chicos. Sí? Yep. Okay, excellent. Now, infinitives. Vamos a checar. De momento, ¿tiene alguna duda de lo que sea? Porque si se fijan, nos hemos pasado en should go. I'm oh, sorry. Hi. Good can. And it's exactly almost the same. Lo que quiero saber es si les ha quedado claro que es para qué se puede ocupar. No sé si algo tiene duda respecto a eso. ¿Para qué se puede ocupar? Antes de pasar a la siguiente sección, ¿para qué ocupamos? Should. ¿En qué moros en el negative form? ¿Alguien que me pueda responder que levante la manita? Vamos a ver. Lorena, go ahead, please. I think the should and shouldn't is for a, an advice or, or something like that. Excellent. An advice, una recomendación. Excellent, very good. Who else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué hay del Ken? Yes, go ahead, Mr. Manzanero. Ken, I think it's a permission. Mm -hmm. Permission, what else? ¿Qué más? No, I don't know. Only permission, okay. I think so. It's okay. Está bueno para decirle compromiso. Porque es un moro. The order. An order. Give me an example. Uh, uh, también? Espérame, espérame. Natalie, give me an example. Mm. Uh, for example. Mm. You oh. can. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead, go ahead. You can. Um, you can go to the supermarket. You can go to the supermarket. Okay. En ese caso, chicos, no sería una orden. Gracias por la participación. Le agradezco, Natalie, de verdad. Muy bueno y excelente opinión, Manzanero. Um, no aplica como orden, por eso le llamamos moral. Yo, de hecho, Manzanero, Mr. Manzanero, no había mencionado que era para un permiso, lo cual también se aplica como un permiso. Eh, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Aunque sería mejor decir may, right? Uh, can I enter to the class? Ahí sí podría ser. O can I go to the party? Mamá, ¿puedo ir a la fiesta? Yes, it's a permission. Okay, can I go to the party? No van a decirle a su mamá, may I go to the party? 
no por favor. <laughs> okay. So yes, basically is that it could be like a permission. It also could be like a something that exactly you can do. For example, what about you can go on on December, you can go to Canada, you can't go to Canada in December because it's very hard or you shouldn't, yes, or you can't see the the city on Eiffel Tower. No precisamente está prohibiendo algo. Because you can see, I recommend to go. You should go to and not to the Eiffel Tower because there's a lot of fog. You can't see it over there. No puedes verlo. It's not exactly something like about permission. No me está prohibiendo tampoco. Um, en ese caso está en cierta manera advirtiendo usted algo que no puede hacer. Así como puede dijo el permiso, tal vez puede decir prohibir. También puede ser para um, a model to use. Can I, mirai, ok. Es otra cuestión que si podría, en este caso podría más que todo should, but however, yes. Or can you, can you help me please? Podría ayudarme, por favor. So there are different ways to use it. Excellent, guys. Um, questions? Por favor, quiero que salgamos de duda. Lo que sí debe quedar claro que no es una orden en específico, sino por el contrario. Tal vez lo confundió con orden porque es, you can't go to the party. Me imagino que así lo, lo transmitió, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. In that case, it's not exactly permission. Simplemente es un, no puedes. But yes, it's okay. Está muy bien las respuestas. Y les agradezco tener el valor de participar. Qué bonito tenerlos así. Me gusta. But meanwhile, me I know if you have any uh, questions, Altina. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de momento? Not yet. Not yet. No one? No. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. No worries. Okay, ustedes dijeron que no tienen preguntas. Now let's going to see. Okay, let me see. Let's see. Okay, who else is missing? Okay, who else is missing? ¿Quién más me falta? Vamos a ver. Ok, ok. Sandra Vázquez. Yes. Go ahead, please. Let's go to continue with this one. Instructions. We don't put. No, don't this. Sorry? There you go. Yes, there you go. Instructions. Read the following questions. Write the best, adv the best advice for each health problem. Remember to use the infinity complete complement. You don't need to rewrite what is the, the brackets. Okay, excellent. Read the follow questions. Now, please repeat with me following. 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 Okay. ¿Qué significa following? Seguir. 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 Okay. In this case, is an order. Seguir. Read the following. Las siguientes. Tiene lógica y eso quería verlo ustedes que me dicen siguiendo y es porque dice ing. But it's here following questions. Por lo tanto, no hay una conjugación. Aquí fue el read de el cual era following questions. La siguiente. Exactly, yes. Para aquellos que no sabían, como por ejemplo, eso dicen, creo que en las redes sociales está de más, dale un follow, de aquí viene. Dale seguir. Or follow the leader para los que anteriormente son de otras Epocas también. Follow the leader de mi época. So, yes. Now, write the best advice. Escribe el mejor consejo o sugerencia for each health problem. Okay. Now, repeat with me. Advice. 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 Each advice. health problem. Each health problem. Okay. Remember. 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 Infinitive complement. Infinitive Okay, now let's going to see. It says example here, you do not need to rewrite 
what is in brackets. Okay, well, let's going to see. No, no es necesario que escriban lo que está aquí, ¿verdad? Ok, no piensen en los breques que estamos hablando de, de los brackets de la boca, por favor. Ok, que suele pasar. Solo no necesitan reescribir. Ok, so it says, what should I do for a sore throat? ¿Quién sabe qué es un sore throat? Dolor, dolor, dolor de garganta. garganta. Dolor de garganta. Dolor de garganta. Excellent. Now, how do you guys, how do you answer here? ¿Cómo respondrían? To take. Uh -huh. To take. Pero ¿cómo sería la oración? Eh, it's important to, it's important to take some vitamin C. Okay. It's important to take some vitamin C. Excellent. It's important to take. Excellent. Very good. To take. Then we're going to continue. That's why it is infinitive. Okay. Ya vamos a ver por qué. Okay. Now the next one, Jose Torres, please. Uh, number two. What should I do for a fever? It's a good idea. Um, uh, to drink a lot of li li liquids. Excellent drinks. Guys, if it's true, si bien es cierto, ¿de dónde sacan estos chicos para aquellos que todavía están tratando de analizar la respuesta? If we're talking about vitamin C, it is cake pills. Tomar. ¿Sí? It's obviously in that case, tomar no precisamente tiene que estar el verbo, sino que analizarlo nosotros. So it's important to take some vitamin C. Okay, then it says, it's a good idea. I'm sorry. It's a good idea. No vamos a decir to eat lots of liquids. Oh, ¿verdad? Drink. Exactly, tampoco vamos a decir to write. It is, in this case, to drink. Excellent, very good. To drink, or it's a lot of idea, drinking lots of liquids. Okay. Now, because it's an infinitive, como es an infinitive, significa que está, no está conjugado, ¿verdad? Okay. We're going to continue, please. Uh, Brenda, could you please help me? Sandoval. What should I do from a poor and sentai help? Once again, please. I'm sorry. Yes. Number three is. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. helpful, helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, no worries. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Okay. Now, guys, do you know what it means? Born. Fuego quemarse. Okay, now, excellent, very good, very good, Brenda. Now, quiero que todos repitan conmigo. Okay, le tocó una palabra difícil. I'm sorry. Okay, so what should I do for a burn? Repeat with me, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn. Once again, guys, please. Burn. Burn, burn, burn. Now, the next one, please repeat me. Ornament. Ornament. Okay. So it is para una quemadura. It is ornament. Yes. Ornament. It is una quemadura Okay. So it's something helpful. ¿Qué más me puede decir? Something helpful. To put cream. To put flick. To apply, could be like apply. Apply. Mm -hmm. To apply. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aplicar some ointment on it. Excellent. Más que todo que nosotros veamos lo del verbo. There you go. Natalie Ortega, could you please continue? Um, what, what should I do for a... To take mm -hmm. it's important to go a dentist. Okay, it's important to go to a dentist. 
Excellent. What should I do? ¿Qué podría hacer? For a toothache. Tooth, guys, es diente. Teeth, okay. cuando lee, son dientes. Dolor de dientes. Yes, okay. and the ache is that talking about a backache, a headache. So in here, es un dolor de diente. It's important to go to a dentist. ¿Por qué se le llama infinitive? El infinitive means no conjugation. Y están aplicados con el tú en este caso, ¿verdad? Excellent, very good. And the next one for a cough. Let me see, ¿quién puede pasar? Lizette Sarakai. Number five. Yes, teacher. Um... What should I do for a cough? It's good idea. Some medicine. Um, okay. Guys, what do you think there's COVID answer? Or is it I think it's to take. To take. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, even it could be different ways, guys. Aquí yo también opino que es to take, but I just want to mention something. What about if I'm talking with you? Eh, I, for example, I could say to Josué Torres, you see? That's why I told you, it's a good idea to buy some medicine. Es buena idea tenerlo y comprarlo. Okay? Josué, it's a good idea to get some medicine, porque él es naturopata. Okay? So, the thing is to get, conseguir, comprar. En este caso sería tomar. What should I do for a calc? To However, to drink. to drink? No, not to drink because we don't know exactly. Uh, no estamos especificando que sean pills. Sí, de manzanilla. Take. There you go. Tengo una pregunta. ¿Ah? Eh, cuando estaba haciendo lo del ejercicio en la número cuatro. Um, el poner el to go o to visit me sale que está mala. Ok. Es que sí. Now, guys, so if you can see here, yes, as I told before, no sé qué había más, to get, como les dije anteriormente, o to take, lo que les dije, puede ser to get, yo le diría eso, Josué, to take. Also, to go. Or to see is correct. To visit, to go, or to see. Cualquiera de las tres estaría bien. En este caso solamente le dan estas respuestas, ¿no? Okay. To put or to put some on it. Oh, well. En este caso pues, estamos con la misma, ¿verdad? Apply or put is the correct. To drink or to drink lots of liquids. Yes. It's okay. De momento todo está bien. Okay take once again to take some to take vitamin c or to take vitamin c it's just that it's correct guys la pregunta nuevamente cuál fue en la cuatro pero estaba observando que es to go to to go, to. Ponía to go. entonces por eso creo que me salía mala yes because remember just let me see that's why i was mentioned before that is just to go to a donde, to go, a dentist, it doesn't make sense, no tendría sentido. Al menos en español, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, comprendo, which is understandable. But here, you are expressing and you are joining, están uniendo dos, to go to, a donde, a donde crees que vaya? To go to a dentist, to visit a dentist, to see a dentist. And yes, basically it's that. Questions for the moment, guys? No? No. Excellent. Now, please repeat with me. Liquids. 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 Excellent. Liquids. Sometimes. 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 Excellent. Burn. 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 Excellent. Antment. Antment. Okay, excellent. Medicine. 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 There you go. Excellent. We're just going to continue. 
could you please read um vamos a ver si está iris iris yes Go ahead. in this session okay in this session you will listen to vocabulary relate to context for you for you um it part a conversation between mm -hmm. pharmacists and the housing will take will take, will take play um, model okay. verse for recreation and the sujets suje are introduced excellent very good now guys who are going to repeat please Okay. Session. 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 Okay. Now, listen to vocabulary. Listen, listen to vocabulary. vocabulary. Okay. Related. 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 Containers. 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 Conversation. Conversation. Okay. Between a pharmacist. Between a pharmacist. Excellent. Take place. Take place. Take place. Okay, excellent. So it says once again, let's going to listen. In this session, you'll listen to vocabulary related to containers. Following this part, mm -hmm. a conversation between a pharmacist and a customer will take place modal verbs for request and suggestions are introduced, okay? Suggest Model yeah. verbs for request and suggestion are introduced, okay? Los model verbs, así como eran el can también, or should, para las uh, requests, como se llama, para las peticiones o sugerencias, ¿verdad? Suggestions. Now, let's go to see. So, it is just, once again, let's go to listen to this. Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it's important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of beef cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, right. please? Okay. Just no. once again, he should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Vamos solamente a analizarlo porque solo queda dos minutos. So let's going to pay attention here fast, a little bit fast. Um, it says, May I help you? Mm -hmm. No es de mayo. This in some way is a verb or it could be also a model. Podría. Uh -huh. Okay. May I help you? Para ayudarle? Yes, please. Could I? Okay. Por en este caso, could I get something for a cough? I'm getting a cold. Then it says, well, I suggest a box, a box of these cough drops. Okay. De estas eh, cough drops es como para la gripe, ¿verdad? De esto jarabe para la gripe. Para, para la tos. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin para la piel seca? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Esto ocupa, la verdad. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you suggest anything? He should try of this multivitamins. Debería intentar con estas vitaminas, verdad? He should try. He should try. Okay. Now, let me see. They are excellent. Great. May I have, otra vez, model? May I have three large bottles? Okay. May I have. Questions all to the moment, guys? 
y si no pueden repasarlo con todo gusto y mañana lo vemos completamente el should, can, couldn't, el may, etc. It's just that right now it is 8.59. So, I don't know if you have any questions right now. Y si no, con todo gusto copia la que son 8.59, tranquilos. Okay, okay teacher, thank you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.